Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on the Pyraminx. This is also known as a pyramid cube or a triangle cube. I'll just be referring to it as a pyramid. Let's start off with some basics. The pyramid uh, is made up of three different types of pieces. Okay, You have corner pieces, as I'll call them, and as you can see, a corner piece is made up of three different colors. So in this case, blue, yellow, and then in the back, green. Okay. And in addition to having corner pieces, the pyramid also has what we call edge pieces. This would be an edge piece, as would this. And as you can see, the edge pieces are made up of two different colors. And last, the third type of piece is what I would call an interior piece. And interior pieces are in the middle of the pyramid. Okay, So for example, this would be an interior piece as would this and also this piece here. It's probably easier to see on another pyramid. As you can see on this side of the pyramid, all three interior pieces are red and they are made up of just one color. Okay. In addition to having those three different types of pieces, the pyramid is also made up of three smaller pyramids. So for example, if you look at this as one big pyramid, this top section is a small pyramid within itself. And you'll notice that the interior piece is right in the center. Okay? Same on this side. We have another smaller pyramid. And again, the interior piece is right in the center. And a third small pyramid on this side. And again, you'll notice the interior red piece is right in the center. So you can almost think of this as similar to a Rubik's Cube. If you're familiar with a Rubik's Cube, on a Rubik's Cube the center square determines the color for that side. So in this case this is the red side of the Rubik's Cube because the center piece is red. Kind of similar to a pyramid. Okay, You can think of these three pieces as your center pieces. In this case, this pyramid um, will have red on this entire side because these three center pieces are all red. Okay, And that's going to be the first thing that we're going to be working on today. Getting our interior pieces on the right side for each side of the pyramid. Okay, Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and put in our corner pieces in the right location. And when we're finished, we'll have something that looks like this. All three interior pieces where they belong, and all three corner pieces where they belong. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want is to look at your mixed up pyramid and see if you can find a side that has two interior pieces of the same color. So for example, as I look at this mixed up pyramid, this interior piece is red, but these two interiors are green. So I could start with that side if I wanted. Or I could start with this side. You'll notice that I have two red interior pieces here. Okay. Now, it is possible that if you're looking at your pyramid and looking at each side, you, you may not have two of the same color on one side. Okay. And if you don't, don't stress. There's nothing to worry about. You might have this situation. Okay. You've got a red and a green and a blue, for example. Okay. You don't have two of the same color. No problem. All you have to do is make one turn, either on the left small pyramid to get your matching interior piece, or same thing on the other side, okay? Just one turn, okay? So if you don't have two, go ahead and make one turn until you have two of the same color, just like that. Now, sometimes you'll get lucky, and you'll find that the third interior piece that you need right here is actually on this small mini pyramid right here. Okay, Let's take a look and see if I got lucky. Now that's yellow, that one's green, and we started with blue. Okay, So I didn't get lucky. And that's okay, I want to show you the harder way to do it anyway. Okay, So hold your cube like this. You've got two matching interior pieces, and as you can see they're on the left side of this front part of the pyramid. Okay, We don't want them here. We actually want them over on the right side. So take your pyramid, Rotate it clockwise, one turn. Now you've got your two matching pieces on the right side 
of this front face of the pyramid. Take your pyramid and hold it like this now. You're going to have this edge in front facing you. And the reason we want to hold it like this is because we want to be able to see two sides of the pyramid at once. I'm looking at the red side here, and I'm also looking at this side over here. Okay? Now, from having solved this thing a number of times, I know that the missing interior piece, red piece, is going to be somewhere on this small pyramid. Okay? You can see it's not here because that's blue. Rotate it once, and there it is. Okay? It will always be on this small pyramid. Now all I have to do is take that red interior piece and put it here, correct? Well, guess what? Can't do that. That piece will never move here. So instead, we're going to take these two pieces and move them to this side. Okay? And it's a lot easier than you might think. This piece is going to move here just by rotating my small pyramid. This interior piece is going to move here just by rotating my top small pyramid. And there you have it. I now have all three red interior pieces on one side. Okay? And that was our initial goal, if you remember. Three interior pieces on one side. Okay? Now I want to do the same thing on all the other sides. Okay? So I rotate my pyramid, and you'll notice on this side I have two yellows. Okay? So we're going to make this the yellow side. All I need to do is find the third interior piece to go here, which is going to be yellow. And it will be on this small pyramid. So I rotate it once, it's not there. Guarantee I rotate it one more time, it's going to be there. And there it is. So I have interior pieces on the red side, and I have interior pieces on the yellow side. And because I've done two sides, the other two sides will already be done for me. So green is done, and blue interior pieces are done. Okay, So, we've got all our interior pieces, now we're going to move on, as I mentioned, and we're going to work on getting our corner pieces in. So, pick a side, doesn't really matter, I'll stick with red, rotate the top, corner piece in, rotate the bottom right, corner pieces in, rotate this one to find red. I'm done. Got the red corner pieces in, take a look at my cube, I've got two yellow corner pieces, I just need one more here. I have all three yellows, and same as before, once you've done it on two sides, the other two sides will also be done. Green is done, and blue is done. And that's it for step one. We have solved all of our interior pieces and all of our corner pieces on each side of the pyramid. Okay? Good job. Take a break.